Well, good morning and welcome back to a busy day around the garden. We got canning going on today. Just having a look to see what we have here. Got a few tomatoes almost ready to come off. My, uh, so you wonder what's going on here <laughs> other than it's dying. So we're leaving this cucumber on there until it turns yellow because then I'm going to harvest the seeds out of that. I harvested some pepper seeds yesterday as well as some tomato seeds. Trying to get them ready for next year, but look what's going on with our bean plants here. Little beetles are eating them all. Now somebody told us if you put orange peels around your plants, then those beetles will leave. We're about to find out because they're making a mess out of these leaves. Hey, look at this one over here. Look at this. Just terrible. Now if you look really close right under my on top of my finger that's the little beetle apparently he's not too worried about the orange peels we put down a quick look the watermelons are coming in good anyway today is canning day uh, we are doing tomato paste today all right so here's what we had going yesterday we got our pickles done i say we she's the one that did them this is our tomato paste. This is our pork butt for Sunday barbecue. Stay tuned for that one. Here's some of the tomato seeds I got yesterday. We're going to get some more out today. Anytime we make a sandwich with the tomatoes, you always end up with a little bit on the bottom that nobody eats. Just take the seeds out of it and use them next year. And so, before we go boating, we got some work to do today. So step on a rock, that's not going to feel good. We have to take the pool down. Got to move the wood pile. It's got to go on the other side of the house over there. So I got to clean that up a little bit. Uh, Farmer Paul is supposed to be showing up with some corn. And I got some tomatoes for him to take back home. And then we might have to run by his place and pick up some posts. Because I put a post in the ground, use them as bookends for when we stack the wood. So... It stays neat, it's not all over the place. And before I take the pool down, I gotta scrub it clean. So I've gotta stop a Canadian tire and try and find a washing brush, which I need one for our vehicles anyways, with a long handle on it so I can get in there, scrub the bottom of it, and get it packed up. And then we get our backyard back. So Jen's making the tomato paste here. You know, what is it? Marinara sauce. Oh, okay, sir. My bad. <laughs> All right, so Jen's making the marinara sauce, but she's got to take the seeds out of the tomatoes. So she's squeezing them into here, which means my job in a minute is going to be take all those seeds, put them on a paper towel so we can use them next year to get more tomatoes for free. Uh, onions, oil, vinegar, tomatoes, garlic. Mix them all in there. How long they got to cook for? Uh, two hours to start. Two hours to start. Then you end up dicing them up and pureeing them and mixing them in whatever she does. When she's peeling the tomatoes, you don't really don't want all the seeds in there. So I took all the seeds. All right, guys, we got to run to town to get some supplies. I need a brush with a long handle, soft bristle brush, one I can wash my truck with. But I needed to clean the inside of the pool out first before we store it. Got to go to Superstore and pick up some flash food. You know, the boxes I've been telling you about. Because she's been shopping again there. But, first things first, we need coffee. So we are stopping at the Flying J for the best coffee in town. And no, they didn't pay me to say it. It is just the best. All right, we got our coffee today. We went with the Pilot House Blend. Again, that's a fresh grind coffee. Not in the package. I want you to run anybody over here. I want to show you guys a pretty cool truck sitting here in the parking lot. Have a look at this. That truck over there with the American flag on the side of it. Good looking truck. All right, I got my lifeblood. We're gonna head to Chatham. Canadian Tire, Superstore, get back and we got some work to do when we get home.
I'm looking forward to it. It's now pushing 30 degrees. All right, we made our way to Canadian Tire. I'm going to run in and grab the brush. And I'll be right back. I got to say, Phil, we miss you in Tilbury at the Canadian Tire. Phil, in case you guys don't know, you still own the Tilbury Canadian Tire. Always good to see you there. Anyway, let me run in here and grab a brush. I'll be right back. Well, it's always an adventure walking through this big store trying to find something. But I did find our brush. I think it was like $19. So I got the brush and I also picked up two jugs of windshield washer fluid because my truck keeps telling me I don't have any. So I better listen to my truck and get some windshield washer fluid. So we're going to head out to the Superstore, pick up our boxes, and we're going to head back home. All probably getting ready for winter. All right, we are all done at the Superstore. We got our two boxes in the back there. Time to head home and get some work done in this 30 degree heat. All right, we're going to take a break from the canning and the cleaning of the pool. Where are we at here? Looks the things. I might want to find a razor sometime today. So here's our marinara sauce. Here's the seeds I got to go through tonight. All right, so because we live in a democracy, everybody took a vote. We got the boat loaded up. We're taking a break from working today and heading out to the lake. I'm gonna do some floating and some soaking. Let's get there. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for hitting the subscribe button. If you haven't done that, please do that before you leave. We'll see you all in the next one. Later. Peace. Did you stick your tongue? No. Oh.